Hi there. So today I am fresh from the piano teachers course this weekend where I give some of my favourite lectures about how to teach beginners. And it always gets me buzzing and it gets me thinking and I love it. Um, anyhow, today I want to talk about this, uh, this balance, this tricky balance that we have as piano teachers of how to integrate music reading, secure music reading with our beginners and elementary students with the joy of playing. So let's let's think about this. You know, a lot of tutor books, and I've done quite a considerable lot of analysis on this. So a lot of tutor books that we use are heavily biased towards the teaching of notation, which is necessary. We do need our students to read. We want them to read. But we have to be cautious as teachers because playing the piano, as you know, is far more than just reading notation. I'm just going to turn to a couple of music educators before I go any further. And the first person I want to uh, refer to is Professor Keith Swanick in his short but quite profound book, Teaching Music Musically. And his third principle of music education that he, um, he mentions is that of fluency. Fluency first and last. So when we're teaching music, we have to help our students to be musically fluent. And the other person I want to mention is uh, Robert Duke. And he's got a chapter in this book, the Oxford Handbook of uh, Music Education. And he says in that um, the challenge for teachers of beginning instrumentalists is to create experiences in which learners behave like accomplished musicians every day in class. So how do we get our beginner pianists behaving like an accomplished musician? It's quite a challenge because obviously when they're learning to read, a, that stops their musical fluency and they probably don't feel very musical when they're just playing very, very simple, straightforward one or two notes on the piano. As I keep saying, it is a challenge. And yet it's an important one that as a profession we need to address. Now, I think one thing that I would like to point out is that if we give just a very... Um, small amount of repertoire for students to learn then we are not helping them to develop their musical fluency nor are we helping them to develop their reading skills so moving through the repertoire at really quite a fast rate is i believe an important part of helping to develop their musical reading skills so we're not talking about giving them a piece to or three pieces that last six months or even a year because what they'll do in that time is they'll learn three pieces and that that will have a, a certain amount of uh, benefit but it's limited so instead we want to give them shorter pieces that are really quite achievable so i think there are two parallel paths and this is what all the research seems to point towards we have two parallel paths that we need to develop together and we need to balance them we have the playing path and we have the reading path and that's really what i'm here to talk about those two paths so on the playing path um, what that allows them to do is to connect with their musician to play musically we can encourage lots of musical playing here uh, we can develop their technique in really healthy ways. We can um, help them to act as pianists without the burden of the notation, you know, getting in the way constantly. The other parallel path is the reading path. And with that, we want to actually um, help them to become really fluent readers down the line, but it takes time to get there. So to start with, we want to give them some really systematic approaches to reading and we want to make that reading um, particularly easy for them. So their playing is further ahead. They're already, their playing skill is a little further ahead than their reading skill. So when they come to read, that's what they can focus on. They focus on the reading. We need to do it a little and often. So we need to give them short pieces 
that they learn and then they're on to their next reading piece and then they're on to their next reading piece. Um, if you think about the way children learn to read books in school, they are given regular reading books. They're given one maybe each week to start with and they read that book and then they exchange it for another one. And in each book, they have new words, they have new concepts, they're reinforcing old words and old concepts. They don't get given one book and get told to keep reading it over and over until it's perfect. So uh, always useful to have that analogy with how children learn to read um, books and things. And again, being systematic in the way that you teach notation for me, I use landmark notes and I make sure um, we, we do intervallic reading and of course it's got to be patterned. We want our students to see the pattern. And over time these two parallel paths that start off like this, over time the playing skills and the reading skills come together. They merge. So eventually our students are playing from written music. And that's the balance we have to get. And that's the skill that as teachers, we are all striving to, to develop constantly. So over the next few weeks, I am going to take um, a specific pieces of repertoire. And I'm going to share with you some creative teaching ideas that I hope will uh, show how you can develop the reading skill and the playing skill all at the same time. Now, if you've got a piece of music for a beginner or an elementary student that you'd like some creative ideas for, then why not jot the name of the piece down below and the book I can find it in. Whether I can refer to it or not will depend on all sorts of things, including copyright and stuff, but I'd love to have your suggestions. I've got some, but do put your suggestions down below and I'll do my best to share some of my thoughts with you. So thank you so much for watching and uh, do join me next week when I'll be taking a piece of music and really exploring this idea of these, this balance that we get between playing and reading and how to help our, our beginner students with this. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.